guys, and welcome back to the Virtual Reality Show, where we talk about any and all things related to virtual reality inside virtual reality. <laughs> I'm your host, Fia. Virtual reality is a magical technology that wisps us away into immersive worlds far beyond what we could ever experience in our lives. You can be who you want to be and go where you want to go. Anything your mind can create is possible. One place I know that I've always wanted to go is, you guessed it, space. There's something about its vastness that captivates us, the journey into the unknown. Traveling through empty darkness and exploring new frontiers of moons and planets. It's so exhilarating. If I had the chance to travel to space for real, whether that's passing by glorious stars or making my way to Mars, I know that I would take it in a heartbeat. I'm not alone in this, and I think if I said there's a no-risk way where you can travel to space without putting your life on the line, a lot of people would take up that offer. Well, of course, I'm here to show you how virtual reality can do just that. How you can explore the depths of space for yourself right from your living room. There's a lot of really cool applications and games that take up the chance at giving users this opportunity. Some really cool games, for example, will let you venture out into new frontiers like No Man's Sky and Elite Dangerous, among quite a few others. These games will have you twisting and turning in a spaceship where you find new planets along your adventure. Fighting enemies takes on a whole new dynamic when you're in zero gravity. The frontier of these worlds is endless and really makes you feel like you're a space explorer when you're fully immersed in these experiences with the power of VR. Although gaming is great, there's also other space experiences that aren't meant to bend your imagination, but rather give you an accurate replication of what the immenseness of it all feels like. You can learn what it's like to be an astronaut trapped in a tiny space station while surrounded by dark emptiness with nothing but planet Earth herself in view. Experiences like Home, a VR spacewalk, have you climbing around as an astronaut. Mission ISS will have you explore the International Space Station for yourself to see what real space explorers find. VR and AR technology is used quite often to show people what spacecraft is like as well. Astronauts will use VR and AR tech to train for going to space themselves. If they're using it, why shouldn't we? So I'm Jackie. Uh, I work at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory as a member of the Mars Rover Operations Team. Um, previously, I worked on the Mars Science Laboratory, the Curiosity Rover, and now um, I'm working on the Mars Perseverance Rover. Specifically, I work on the engineering cameras of the rover. We put out experiences to reach out to the public and show them just a little taste of what it's like. And actually having something that would be representative of, you know, what it's like to operate a spacecraft or what it's like to be in space, I think, is something else entirely. Even the Jet Propulsion Laboratory is using this tech. But it doesn't have to be that complicated either. People are also using games like VR Chat to explore the creations of other users. In the past year or so, I've become very interested in VR and I've become sort of an advocate of VR. And one of the things that drew me towards VR chat is the incredible ability to communicate with people and feel a social presence with people. I've been to a number of VR chat worlds, such as the one that we're in right now, which was actually created by um, just a fan of JPL to uh, give us a view at our beautiful Gale Crater, which is the location that the Curiosity rover is in. This specific location is the Namib Dunes. And you can also see behind us, there's the uh, Mount Sharp, which is one of the main features of Gale Crater, um, an enormous mountain in the middle of the crater. Experiencing space can really put life into perspective. 360 videos are quite popular in the XR scene and can be viewed using a VR headset one of which has you on a trip to Jupiter titled Juno Mission to Jupiter. Some of my first experiences in VR were back in 2016, actually experiencing that Juno 360 video and looking at panoramas of Mars through an Oculus Rift. And uh, at least for space, um, like deep space, um, one of the first things that struck me was just the enormous sense of scale. In that 360 video, you really get a picture of 
how large Jupiter is. And also the depth, because if you look down below you, you just see an empty field of stars. And that was almost disorienting to me at first to see that. Um, I'm so used to seeing um, the data that we get from these missions on you know, a flat screen. It can be cool to see what it might look like in real life, um, even if it's just a simulation of the data rather than the actual data. A great example of how VR can be used for science communications in a way that maybe some other tools can't be is even if you're not here with me and I'm not actually in Gale Crater, which the Perseverance rover is in Jezero Crater for the record, I can come up to you and I can show you uh, individual instruments on the rover. So for example, if I went down here, you can see um, that these four cameras down here are the front hazard avoidance cameras, the has cams of the rover. And in my view, if you're here experiencing this in VR with me and I'm pointing this out to you, that is a much more interesting and immersive way to learn about the Mars rover or any other number of things um, than, you know, viewing it through a flat screen. Now that we've explored some of the experiences you can have and why those are so amazing, I want to share with you what truly inspired me to make this video, a 3D 360 video titled First Step. First Step is about the Apollo missions and um, last year has been the 50th anniversary uh, of the first step on the moon. So this was um, a big signal, signal for us to produce a great film about this um, so important event. What First Step does is take us out of our living rooms and transports us along a journey with the astronauts on their first mission to the moon. This cinematic experience is the most realistic XR experience I've ever had, and you could have fooled me when you told me it was computer generated. But First Step is only one film that Maria produced, as another film was made to accompany it, Second Step. Second step is about future missions, future missions on the moon, like uh, the Shackleton Crater, and you will be on the other hand on on Mars, which is quite interesting. Both films we tried to have uh, surroundings which are very real. We uh, had these special archive footage, which. Um, all these photos which the astronauts had taken when they were on the moon. A lot of other people did that to, to use these photos and to stitch them. So you have a 360 panorama um, stitched and um, you have them from these original settings, the original photos. And um, the great thing we were able to do is to project these panoramas on the um, digital altitude data, which we have. Um, we could collect them from NASA and um, uh, the European Space Agency. And when you project these 360 panorama on these um, digital alt altitude data, then, and it fit it. So this was another proof um, that these astronauts were actually on the moon <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> because it w would, wouldn't have fit um, when you have all this accurate data and you project these photos on them and it fits. Yeah, this was such a, an exciting experience for us also and to have a look at it for the first time. It's not just a plain photo, but it's 360 and it's stereo 3D. The fact that they used digital altitude data stitched with panoramas blew my mind. That is why it feels so realistic. I cannot recommend this experience enough for anyone who is interested in both the history of your exploration and also those who are looking towards our future. You feel as if you're actually there and that is truly priceless. With space, everything is great when you are um, in space and you do it in VR because mm -hmm. um, space and VR XR love each other. You have 
for the first time a feeling how it might be being an astronaut and being in the universe, being uh, being in space, being on the moon or being on Mars. And um, you can turn around and see the landscape and you have such an uh, intense feeling of being within the whole thing, not just watching it as a within a frame in front of you, but being within it. And this is so important um, for something like being in space on the moon or Mars. Yeah, it, it, it was the only medium we wanted to produce that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it definitely gave me a whole new perspective when I got to experience first and second step being on the moon and being on Mars and actually looking around and seeing this, you know, these worlds around you. It's so crazy how you feel like you become a part of them. And it's so much different when you're looking at a computer screen or, you know, watching a 2D mm -hmm. film because you feel like an outsider still. But with, you know, with Absolutely. being inside of VR or doing a 360 video, it literally puts you into the into the film and you yeah. feel like you're a part of it, which is so super duper cool. Um, I love that. And I think yeah. it's so cool that you guys decided to go with that format. If you want to experience these films for yourself, then you have two choices. For PC VR players, you can download Viveport. Yes, it works with non-Vive headsets and purchase the film there. For Quest users, you can download the app called Alcove and then purchase the first and second step expansion by navigating to the space-themed room. It's only $6 and in my opinion, one of the best experiences you'll ever have. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the FIA channel. Have you ever done a VR space experience? Then give your thoughts in the comments below. And also, you can follow my Twitch to hang out with me or subscribe to my Patreon to help support the making of videos just like these. Anyways, I've been your host, Fia, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Special thanks to this month's Patreon members and virtual VIPs, Baxorn, Dutech, Klukule, Scoremaller, Maller, 